You're watching Star Watch Media. I'm Callie Bundy, and we're here at the 20th anniversary of the Hamptons International Film Festival. Here at the Hamptons Film Festival, day three, I am Callie with Star Watch Media, and I am here with the director of Dead Man's Burden, Jared. How are we doing? We're doing great. It's a beautiful day in the Hamptons. How can it be bad? I know, it, right? That's yeah. a very good point. We've had a little rough weather in the beginning. Were you here for that? Oh, yeah. When the flood, when I was driving my like little SUV down the street, and suddenly like I thought I was in a monsoon as water from every puddle came up all around us. It was kind of terrifying, actually. It was. And where were you coming in from? Uh, from New York. From New York. So easy. Yeah, it was an easy drive. I know. We got here, got to our hotel. We're like walking outside, and then the sky opened up. And it was just like, all right, let's go get our umbrella. This isn't going to help. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So talk to me a little bit about your film. I heard it's a classic Western, and you do have the appropriate shirt on for that. And belt buckle. Oh, and belt buckle. Let's get a... Oh, yeah. 50th anniversary Pony Express belt buckle. So wow. I got it in Texas a couple years ago, a vintage Wait. store, so in Austin. So, okay. yeah, I love the West. I love Westerns. So when I wanted to go out and make my first movie, of course, I was going to make a classic Western, you know, in the vein of, like, John Ford, you know, really just sort of embracing the landscape. Um, and uh, it's about a family that was ripped apart from the civil by the Civil War. Um, the main character is a former is a former U.S. soldier who's actually from the South. Okay. And his father, despite his family's strong Southern loyalties, he went and fought for the North. And his father told him, "If you ever leave, if you do this, I'm going to kill you." And he left anyway, so he hasn't been home. And then he finds his father out. His father died by being thrown from a horse. So he comes back to see his family and discovers all the things that have changed and all the, that there's secrets lying beneath everything. Okay. So just loving Western and Western culture, was that kind of your inspiration for the film or was there something more specific? Uh, the, I, I mean, I love Westerns. So I wanted to make it. This one was really inspired by the Civil War. Um, there's, a, there's a great Civil War general, General uh, George Thomas, who is actually a Virginian who fought for the North. And uh, after the war, his family was destitute and they would never talk to him and take money from him, even though he was one of the most successful northern generals and was very, you know, had a lot of money and could really support them. But they were like, he was disowned, essentially. Right. And, right. and about how long is th has this project been in the making? Uh, we were shooting, actually. Last year, today, we would have been standing at the end of a two-mile dirt road in the middle of New Mexico, uh, you know, with no cell phone reception, covered in dust, and it would be either freezing or, uh, you know dying of heat stroke. Right. Um, so the project actually, I wrote it in March of 2011, shot in October, and now we're here. Okay, so basically you're saying though there probably were some interesting moments on set. Was there like a really funny moment you could share with us? Oh, God. Uh, there's so many random things. A goat died on day two. That was terrifying. Uh, it started pouring one day in the middle of shooting, and so we finished the day out. And then we got in the car and we're at this two mile dirt road that basically became a mud chute. And so everyone just could pile into the four wheel drive vehicles and we start sh trying to like get down before the arroyos come, like, which are basically rivers that just come shooting down water and you can't get past them if they come down. So we're like going past them. We're, you can't control the car, it's mud slide for two miles down a hill. I'm stuck in like the front of a pickup truck with me, my, uh, my script supervisor, my makeup artist, and we're like squeezed in and at one point my, uh, we sort of slipped and the, my, someone's knee hit the drive and had us into neutral and we couldn't even control the car. We thought we were going to flip and die and we made it down and it was like the most terrifying moment of the shoot, but it was awesome. Yeah, I mean I wasn't there and I'm a little scared myself. <laughs> Um, I think westerns, I think horses. Did you use a lot of horses? Oh yeah, a lot of horses. Okay. We had horses, all our actors rode, it was great. And yeah. did they ride before? Because I would imagine that would be kind of a challenge. Yeah, I wanted every actor to be film. One of the things that was important, they were familiar with their guns and they were familiar with horses. Okay. So like my lead actress, for example, she's Australian and she, I was like talking to her before we cast her and she's like, oh, I'm like, have you ever been on a horse? She's like, oh yeah, I grew up on a ranch and I uh, must, uh, mustard cattle around. I'm like, okay, cool. And my lead actor, one of my lead actors taught riding, the other's gone hunting on horseback. Like, they know their way around the animals, which is really important. And guns, which is also great. Right. And you also said you have a remarkably tall cast. Yes. We have a very tall cast. It's a very, like, everyone's really tall except for my lead actress, which created, like, some interesting problems on set that I was not really aware of, as a, you know. But, uh, yeah, it's all really tall men and a small woman. Right, awesome. Now, is the first screening played yet here at the festival? Yeah, it premiered last night, uh, 7.15, uh, 7.45, and it went it was great. It was really packed. Um, people really enjoyed the film, and then we play again tomorrow. So it's been so far so good. Sure. 
And this is your first time at the Hamptons Film Fest? Uh, yes, first time at the Hamptons Film Fest, and I'm loving it. It's yeah. great out here. Okay, so for this to really be a success for you coming away from the weekend, what do you really want the audience, everyone, to come away with? Uh, I mean, I, what I would love for this film, I'd love people to uh, think about, the film's really about ideas and sort of staying true to, the, the conflict is between what we believe and sort of the people in front of us and the reality, and is it really that important to stick to ideology when people are hurting around you and the people you care about are hurting? And I, I love people to think about that when they walk out of the theater, and, you know, that's sort of what the movie's about, I think, in a lot of ways. Okay, great. And where for people that aren't here, where can they go to find out more? Well, the uh, deadmansburden.com. Uh, is our website, or you can find us on Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash deadmansburden. And the film will be coming out in theaters next year. We just got picked up for distribution, so we're very excited about that. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time, Jared. Best of luck. Thank you. This is great. Yes.